start with a new param object use the block shape this is is a display board display board will be adjusted for its overall shape and size its first parameter this keyboard length this is visible parameter by default length will be 1.2 meter step interval here for the adjustment will be 0.01 then display board thickness this will be the second parameter for the display so this will be get this will get renamed this would be point move not too five this is 25 millimeters and there's one more parameter it's display board height this will get accepted as same height now connect them x y z on the surface as actually for change and keep this as board surface pen number if it is needed override add pipe support surface for the pipe suspended pipe height Radius will be the same as per board thickness. Board has to be shifted away from the pipe.
towards the x axis. towards y axis also half of the board thickness negative value Display board group. Pipe pen number you can override. Copying the pipe. shape the distance will be addition of board length and the board thickness towards x-axis. I have to multiply by Your board thickness will get multiplied twice. The reason we need the radius for displacement, that is diameter. Join this to this. Support pipe group. Let's offset the board from the bottom of the pipe. Put the same value as offset value for the board diameter. Let's add this spotlight from ceiling, GDL object, choose the object. Spot lamp ceiling parameter for rotating the lamp, rotating the lamp about x axis. Say OK. Spot lamp got added. 
Override the pen if it is needed. Let's talk about its placement. Vertical displacement as per the board as for the pipe length spot angle to edges Let's see how we can displace this spot towards the x-axis as per the required divisions. Divide the length is center to center length from the pipe that is the same length which we have done over here. Division will be done as per the number of intervals needed. We will keep minimum two divisions. This will be for X displacement. Tomorrow if you increase this number, your lamp will keep on shifting. The next lamps or spots will get added with the copy. So we will see move shape. Sheep is supposed to be spotlight. This has to be moved towards the x axis, but with the interval of same value. But number of counts. For example, if I change this value, the lights are not increasing. To add the lights in C integer series, count will be considered directly from here. And these steps, that's nothing but this distance which you have achieved will be the step. And this will become as your x offset. Problem, 
If I reduce the divisions, I'm getting extra lag. To solve this problem, the two divisions, but the location, the last light lamp was on the wrong location. I want to eliminate that. So we will use subtract. So, from the total count, we will subtract one unit and that will be the final count. So, automatically, we have achieved the required number of lights. Let's create the lamp group. Spotlight group. So just check if you increase the number of divisions on the light track, you will get required number of lamp solves, light solves. Now let's create repetitive module for this. First of all, the board and the pipe module. Use the union solid operation. This is your pipe sheet. So, pipe and board. Now, this combination will be repeated, move shape, offset distance is combination of pipe and board dimension. Let's add the lamps also in the next division. So spotlights we are going to add, repeat in the next division. Similar union. Between. I have to join this. And this I will put as my final shape. Now it's time to repeat this. So we can go for integer series and the count. We can go for number of display boards.
with the count and this will be fix offset. So tomorrow if you increase this value, you will see how the number of boards and spotlights are getting repeated. Let's make the last group. Now it's time to save the file. You can give it the name as a Henry Display Board 01. Say OK. Library object created. Let's place this. Go inside the object tool. In your embedded library, Paramo, you can see this object. You can just check out the display order over here. Number of display boards, then board length, thickness, height, your support pipe length, spot angle and track light divisions. So this is your input panel. You can decide at the choice as per your convenience. Now place this object. You can check the 3D view. If you want to float them, select and use the required offset value from the floor. That's it. You are ready now. So in future, if you want to increase the number of panels, just select and you just have to mention how many panels you want to go for. That's it. Try for different combinations. Number of display boards say 2, length of the board 1800, number of divisions say 4, this is your end product, offset from the floor, maybe if you want to change any surface, And you can place this. So quickly you can start putting and customizing your requirements.